All right, we are back again with another deconstruction video. This is the Tagin Pro model AFG-6. 3.5 second delay. It is a flashbang slash slash <laughs> dried pee bomb. Um, so I already did one of these videos on the AFG-4, which is smaller, and it was unbelievably loud considering the performance of the M of the Enol, the EG67 by Enola Gay which was absolutely just pathetic the purpose of this video is to just deconstruct this see how this fuse is made so all right start with this strap wrench Okay, so we just crack that adhesive seal and remove this little guy. Well, I'll tell you right now, this is already different than the other one. So the mass of the AFG-4, the explosive powder inside the AFG-4 was one sample was 1.0 grams, and the other one that I did was 1.3. And this is 1.2. So it is basically the same mass of net explosive powder, I guess you could say. 1.2. All right, so we got that. We got this. Um, I'm going to remove this. So... I mentioned this in the last video, I have no freaking idea what this is. Some of the comments in that were saying it could be a sodium benzoate. Benzoate? How do you say sodium benzoate? Sodium benzoate is pronounced as sodium benzoate. Check the description because when I do figure this out, I will post that mix in, in the description. I was really surprised to find out that it wasn't... Um, Flash powder, which is unusual. All right, so I'm gonna actually do a cross section of this. By the way, this was about this was $16.99. Um, this device. The other one was <laughs> Peace. Okay, we have wow. That's a lot of okay. That's a lot of dried peas. Okay, so the peas are held in position circumferentially, which is cool, right? So first of all, the reason that the AF, the A, uh, what is this? The AFG six is a louder device is because there's an additional layer of confinement. It's not the an increased amount of net explosive content. Um, but this serves two purposes. One is there's the additional confinement of the same mass of explosive charge. The second is that it holds all these dried peas in position for maximum fragmentation or spread. So I'll say that's pretty, pretty clever. I, I'm very happy. I mean, I don't even play airsoft, but I just like these kinds of things. Um, I will say that these freaking igniters, these fuses are, and, and these devices are extremely well made, comparatively. Pull the pin, release the spoon, time fuse, boof, comes up right out the, the bottom. It's a 3.5 second, they say. So now, this design here of this fuse assembly is right here. So we have this spring coming down, the mousetrap spring striking. It has a round striker, which I found to be interesting. So this round striker, which I am going to cock back and rearm. Turn on CO fan. 
Okay. Ugh. Okay. So you see how this is a piece of plastic right here? That's like this little secondary striker, right? So this little plug thing comes down and strikes an ignition composition in here, which obviously ignites, and then it travels down and ignites the powder core of the time fuse here, right? Um, the time fuse is where you get the 3.5 second delay. The time fuse is cut at a slant so that there's a greater surface area, therefore a greater probability of doing with, of passing fire. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Yep. It's pretty impressive. Right? Dude. <laughs> Your ears pop? Holy oh, Yeah. So wow, dude. I, I'll say that was an impressive it's an impressive airsoft grenade. 